Well, good morning, my name's Daniel, and I'm going to tell you a little bit about our steel RMA 510V. So this is an electric Matwa, battery operated. The batteries are the AP300S, and they just slide in. You have an eco mode, or a normal mode that you can use in them. Now, what I like about this mower is that it's quiet. No fumes, no petrol, just recharge the battery, so that's great. You have an adjustment here for the speed of the mower. It can go from very slow to a fast walking pace. To operate the mower, you simply have to press this button and pull up the bottom. Starts. This top lever is moving it forward, as we just showed you there. So it can catch, so we've got the catcher on. It can mulch, so we've got a mulcher plug that you just slide into the back, and you can side shoot. So we've got a little side shoot adjustment. As far as mowing lawn, this is a Sir Walter Buffalo lawn. It has no problems mowing as Sir Walter Buffalo lawn. It is necessary for once a year to give the lawn a really low cut after winter to stop thatching. So this lawn mower can do that. It's hard work for it, but what you find you might just have to do two cuts. So do one cut and then a second cut a little bit lower. In terms of value, it's a good value mower. It is a well-built mower. It has wheels that run on ball bearings, so they run fluidly. It's light. I'm sure you would enjoy owning one. Just a couple of uh, other features that you may like to know. With the battery setup, you can use this battery for multiple machines in the steel range. For example, we use the hedge trimmer, we use the whipper snipper, and we use the chainsaw, all off the one battery. What's good about these batteries is it gives you a light with an indicator as to how full the battery is. If you're storing the battery, what as you can see, this is four, so it has four green bars. When it comes to storing the battery to make it last, it's very important that you only have two green bars. And that way you can store your battery for potentially, you know, a very long time, possibly years, without it um, causing damage to the battery. If you leave it empty or full, it's not a good way to store or keep these batteries. So very important, storage, two green lights on the battery. So that's quite easy to do. You just have to use it until you see two green lights. Also in the mower, there's a little key which you can pull out. This key will stop the mower from operating. So you can't operate it without the key. So that's a, a good little safety device if you've got children. Another important feature with the steel mower is the, the quality. It's, it's built to last. The batteries, for example, are designed to last up to 20 years. And that's about using them um, once, once a week. So for a homeowner, you would definitely get your value out of it. It is their commercial size self-driven mower and I'm sure you'll enjoy it just as much as I do. One last thing with maintenance and care of your battery mower is cleaning it. One important thing that you have to remember, it involves a battery which involves electricity, hence don't get the hose out and just start watering it everywhere. So it's very easy to clean. You simply have to flip the side don't have to worry about petrol going anywhere because it is battery. You have a microfiber cloth that is damp and you simply 
Just wipe the undercarriage out. And as you can see, I've, I, I do this after every mow, which doesn't take long. Wipe the grass out, keep it clean. And I find, actually, it takes just as much time or less. I used to hose my old mower out. Now I just use a damp cloth. So care and maintenance, remember cleaning just with a damp cloth or maybe a brush if you've got a lot of grass up there. Thank you for watching.